power to influence perceptions if things become normalised in the media then it becomes normalised in it starts to become normalised in everyday life when it becomes normalised you reduce that element of stigma and prejudice and then that creates a more balanced and sort of harmonious society or more understanding more uh, and less less prejudice less discrimination and I suppose that's why it's important for me I think it comes from that but just about giving people a fair a fair chance and not discriminating against people that's what I'm trying to say. better education within the industry uh, about disabilities and what disabilities uh, entail because I think it's still people are still quite naive about it and I don't think they quite understand it or the practicalities of working with people with disabilities so I think for me I think that will improve um, the sort of access to work for people with disabilities within the film and TV industry um, but I think uh, it needs to start it needs to start sort of in in the the early days when they're, they're working out the budgets really like do we have extra budget let's we need to make extra budget to fund say a support worker pay extra travel or allow extra time for this that and the other um or whatever the the needs are of so whoever it is that they're going to employ for what, whatever role that, that might be I think it comes back to my my own upbringing of um, growing up with um, quite a severely disabled brother and seeing the way that um, he was treated and we were treated uh, as a family and uh, I suppose the stigma and prejudice that was around uh, back then. I mean, what it was different. There just wasn't the social support um, around for people with disabilities back then. It was a long time ago.